Hello people, in this video all I want to do is just explain the difference between DNA, gene and chromosome, the three terms that often people get confused confused with. So I'm just going to explain those three, I'm not going to talk massively about the structure of DNA, just fundamentally the difference. I've got the little box in the top right of your screen um, that I'll be referring to in this video. Let's just take DNA quite simply to begin with. We'll just push the screen up a little bit higher just to start with. Now, many of you might recognise this shape. This is called a helix. Now, DNA is made of two strands in this kind of form, and it forms that characteristic shape that we've seen on the internet and in books, and it's called the double helix. And there are things called bases between each of these strands. Now again, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail about what these bases are at the moment. But merely this strand of DNA is, as I've written at the top, our genetic material. That's what DNA is. It's simply our genetic material. It's what makes us who we are. A small section of this DNA, so if I were to just take this small bit here. Now clearly this isn't to scale at all, I'm just kind of using it to make a point. This small section here is a gene. And that's all a gene is, it's a small section of DNA. So if a gene is a small section of DNA, then technically that bit there's a gene, this bit here is a gene, this portion here is a gene, this portion here is a gene. So DNA is just full of genes. And genes, as I've written, are small sections of DNA. Now what genes actually do are code for proteins. They have the instructions to make all the proteins that the body requires. Okay, so DNA is our genetic material. Genes are sections of that genetic material. Now, I want you to imagine, I'm going to make this screen a little bit smaller so I can show you this. In a real, real body cell, so we'll just draw a cell. And by body cell, I mean not sperm and egg. They're, they're a bit different. I mean any other cell other than sperm and egg. In a real body cell, you have to fit 46 molecules of this DNA in. Now, they're very, very big. In fact, each molecule of DNA is 1.3 metres long. Now, you're never going to be asked that particular question. But because it's so big, to try and get it into the cell is quite a task. So now I want you to imagine having one hand here, I'm sorry if this is a bit unclear, and having another hand over here. Now imagine having both hands twist that DNA coil in opposite directions. What you'd essentially do is super coil that DNA. You'll make it really, really tight, really, really small. And that is this. That is what a chromosome is. A chromosome is just one large molecule of DNA, so this whole molecule of DNA here, coiled up really tight. Now, in a body cell, so in a cell of your cheek, your arm, your leg, for example, in a typical body cell, one of the liver, pancreas, they all have 46 chromosomes very specific number. So there are 46 of these coiled molecules of DNA in each body cell. And that is the simple difference between the three. So DNA is our genetic material, it's what makes us who we are. It's this one here. A gene is simply a small section of that DNA. And a chromosome is one large molecule of DNA, so all of this curled up nice and tight. Okay, hope that helps.